Hey guys, Pat Tokoyami here. Okay, so now we are on to um, the ChargePoint EV or electrical vehicle charger. And this is a level two EV charger. It provides up to 50 amps of current and uh, has a J1772 uh, plug. The reason that I had bought this in the first place was I was looking for something that was going to be either ETL listed or UL listed because I'm sure you've heard stories in the news about uh, electric cars charging and causing fires so I wanted to make sure that that was something that I could have a little bit of peace of mind about with those two certifications. Um, the second thing was that I did want a level 2 charger to future proof even though my car can only charge at 3 kilowatts per hour because the battery charger for the car is limited to that. In the future, I wanted, if in case I ever decided to get a different car, that I would be able to just use the same charger with ha without having to, to go and uh, upgrade it. So in addition, the uh, electrical utility here where I live had an incentive for this one in particular, which made it easy for me to just go ahead and choose this one. So as you can see here, there's me taking it out of the car. It's a RAV4 Prime and uh, plugging it back in into the socket. It's very simple to do. I had my, my electrician install it. It took only a couple hours to hardwire it into the main panel. And you can actually see everything on your smartphone app. If you've ever used a charge point um, charging station, uh, it'll give you similar uh, metrics uh, for you to see how your uh, device is or your car is charging and when it's finished. So some of the pros and cons, uh, it's plug and play. Um, as I mentioned, I just had my electrician install this in about two hours and it was ready to use. Uh, the app is very simple to use. Uh, you don't really use the app to control the charging, but more so to monitor it. Uh, this provides up to 50 amps of uh, electricity or 37 miles per hour, which is pretty quick. Of course, unless you're using a supercharger, if you have a Tesla. Four is that it's UL listed, so it has those um, at least that certification there that um, should help alleviate some of your concerns for fires. Um, and it also includes a three-year warranty. So those are some of the pros. Some of the cons, you cannot lock this device. I don't know why ChargePoint didn't include a little notch there on the handle where you can just put in a lock or even on the um, dock there to, to keep it secured. Two, the app is very basic. You can't control the charge or make any changes or adjustments. I think one of the only useful things that you can do from the app, besides from monitoring, is change the brightness of that LED light. Three, the cable is uh, very sturdy and well built. However, it does twist and loop against itself um, every now and then. So make sure you're careful about putting it back the way it's supposed to be. Otherwise, you're going to have to untangle it all eventually. Uh, last is that the cable is only 23 feet. I think they could have made it seven feet longer to make it 30 round feet instead. Um, but for for my purposes, it does meet um, the length that I need to get to my car. And if I if it really wasn't long enough, then I could have just parked the other way around so that it was closer to the uh, panel. So those are a few of the cons that I have for this charger. I'm overall very happy with it. It does what it's supposed to do as far as charging the car as quickly as possible, at least for my car, and uh, it works well. So very happy with it. Wouldn't really have hesitation in getting it again. I think it's been great, and if you need something that is uh, relatively well-known, such as ChargePoint, it has that uh, the certification there for you all listing, this is a great option to consider.